Hey guys, in this video I will show you through examples how to find the pH of a buffer solution, what happened to a pH if we add a base, what would be the pH of solution if we add that amount of base in a distillate water for comparison with the buffer. Without any further ado, let's dive into it. First, what a buffer contains into it. A buffer is made by a weak acid and its conjugated base. Conjugated base according to Brunstad and Lowry definition for acids and bases in a significant amount, or a weak base on its conjugated acid. A buffer resists to pH. We are going to consider the first case, a weak acid on its conjugated base. Let's make a scheme. So, a buffer contains a weak acid in our case on its conjugated base, that is a salt its own salt. For example, find the pH of a solution that contains 0.1 molar of acetic acid and 0.2 molar of sodium acetate. So we have In order to find the pH, we are going to use the henderson hasselbach equation which is a simplification of the equilibrium problem. So we have So let's run the calculations. So the pH is 5, which is less than 7, it means it's acidic. What happened to pH if we add 100 milliliter of sodium hydroxide 0.1 molar? In this case, we have to consider two steps. The first step is the stoichiometrical calculation, which includes moles. The second step is the equilibrium calculation. Here we are going to use again henderson hazelba equation to find the pH. What is going to happen in our solution if we add base? It is going to consume some weak acid in a stoichiometrical way and convert it to its own conjugated base in order to preserve the pH. Let's run the calculations. As you can see from this simple equation, sodium hydroxide is going to neutralize the acetic acid and the acetic acid is going to be converted to its own conjugated base. Let's draw a table that looks similar to equilibrium table, but is not the same, because it deals with moles, not with concentrations. Stoichiometrical calculation made easy. These are 0.1 mole and 0.2 mole because we are dealing with a solution of 1 liter volume. If it's more than or less than 1 liter, we are going to find the number of moles by using the simple formula of the concentration, that is, number of moles divided by the volume, which number of moles is concentration multiplied by the volume, as we are going to do now for the 100 milliliter of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. In addition, we add only 0.01 mole of OH from sodium hydroxide. Here we do not add anything, here we do not add anything. This is what happened to the, our solution. We have a consumption of weak acid and addition in its conjugated base. Now, we are adding moles of sodium hydroxide, but also we are adding some volume to the solution, which is 100 milliliter or 0.1 liter. We need to take this in account because when we are going to calculate the new concentrations of the acid and its conjugated base, we are going to consider also the volume that we add to the solution. Let's 
calculate the new concentrations because OH is consumed totally here. Now we can use the henderson hasselbach equation again to find the pH of our solution. We can see here an increase in unit of 0.1. 5 was before, it goes to 5.11. Only 0.11 units increasing the pH. To put this in perspective, let's see how dramatically the pH change if we add the same amount of base in distillate water, which itself has a pH 7, which means it's neutral. Let's run some calculation there. So the total volume is going to be 1 liter from water plus 0.1 liter from the addition of sodium hydroxide. It's 1.1 liter. Now let's find the concentration of OH minus. Now we can find the pOH of the solution because this is a strong base. It's com it completely dissociates in the solution. And the pH is equal to 14 minus pOH equal to 14 minus 2 equal to 12. So we see an increase in 5 units in the pH from 7 in distillate water to 12. But in that case that we discussed above, we saw that the from 5 pH goes to 5.11. So we have 5 units here change in the pH, here we have 0 0.11 units. So it is obviously that the buffer solution are way more capable on resisting to the pH than the distillate water. In terms of buffer effectiveness, with agreement we have pH equal pK plus minus 1. This is the interval of change in the pH that is accepted for buffer solutions. Of course, there are exceptions, for example, the pH that exists in our blood. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Peace.